Hi, I'm Beth from SeaTech Plus, and I'm really delighted to be joined by Matt, who is uh, one of our JETS participants and has kindly joined us today to tell us about his story. So welcome, Matt. Thank you for joining us. It's lovely Hello, to have um, you with us. My pleasure. My pleasure. No worries at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Great. And whereabouts are you calling us from today? Uh, I'm calling, for you, calling you from Liscard at the moment. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Um, so Matt, you're in work now, which is amazing. Um, yes. Tell us a little bit about your new job. Well, um, I'm a labourer for an agency called Harbour Recruit, and I'm currently working for them with uh, Fred Champion Groundworks. And basically, all that entails for me is, you know, uh, if foundations, for example, need blackjacking, which is basically a waterproof um I can't quite remember the word for it. Uh, it's basically a waterproof layer on top of the trench block foundations just to keep them, you know, from losing their structural capability, things like that. Um, trenches, basically anything that anybody needs a hand with, they, they'll come to me and I'll give them a hand with it. And any little odd yeah. jobs that we're doing around the site to, you know, just make things go a lot smoother, then I'll come yeah. along, I'll do that quickly. And then, for example, the brickies can come in and put blocks down or the digger driver can come in and, you know, after I've prepared the area, come through, dig the trenches, all the steel fixes, for example. It's, you know, yeah, it's just a, basically just helping hand, really. Brilliant. Yeah, amazing. So um, tell us a little bit about your situation before you came to Tech Plus. Right, uh, well, um, I suppose it all kind of started uh, when, I, uh, when I left the army. Um, I joined the army when I was 16 and i left mm -hmm. just before my 18th birthday although officially my last day was the 30th of november 2018 and i left because i went into some troubles with my mental health and when i left the army i went into quite a deep pit of depression and i was struggling mm -hmm. with mental health um such as psychosis and paranoia anxiety and it took me a, a while to get back on my feet and then in around March 2019, I moved down here, moved down to Cornwall and everything was going good for a while. I got back into, uh, well, I got into construction, I uh, worked in construction for a while with a company called Andy Borlase, uh, Andrew Borlase General Builders Limited. And I was with them until February 2020, 2020, sorry. And um, yeah, I, uh, had a, I had a relapse of my mental health. And I ended up spending just over a month in Fletcher Ward, which is a psychiatric ward in Bodmin Hospital. And I was released on the day that the first lockdown was announced. So, uh, yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Not great timing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, then for the majority of the first lockdown, I uh, moved in with my dad. And then to, as lockdown eased, I came back down to Cornwall and got myself a job in my local supermarket. And I was there for about a month. But uh, unfortunately, the medication that I was taking at the time, it was uh, causing too many side effects for me. I mean, I had to be up very early for that job. And I missed a couple of shifts because um, the medication I was on was making me sleep a lot. And um, yeah, so uh, unfortunately, they let me go. And uh, after that, I, uh, I searched for a job for about a week or two before the um, before lockdown two was introduced, and then throughout the whole of lockdown two, I, I, I didn't work, and I got really badly into debt. My arrears uh, started going back into um, back into a bout of depression, and uh, yeah, it's just um, it, it, it was quite hard. But um, yeah. then I turned I turned twenty on the twenty third. And I thought to myself, right, um, you know, I'm in a really, really dark place at the moment. I'm in quite a bit of a pit. I need, um, I need, I, I need help to get out. I need to start planning what I want to do with my life. I need to start planning how I'm gonna, you know, get myself out of this hole and yeah. make my situation better. And uh, then, about a month or two later, I think it, yeah, it was, it was the start of January 2021. I was referred to you guys, CTEC, uh, through Job Centre, and yeah <laughs> amazing well i mean you've really you know you've been through a really difficult time 
Um, so tell us a little bit about the support that you received from the JET scheme. So when the, the um, support that CTEC Plus gave you. Well, um, when I first started with the programme, a lady called Annette, um, she called me, uh, touched base with me um, maybe one or two times a week. I spoke to her a couple of times within the first few weeks and uh, well, a few. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that, that, those calls were basically just getting to know me, uh, what I wanted to do with my life, um, how I was going to get there type thing, a uh, bit yeah. of you know, background information, all that type of thing. And then she put me in contact with a lady called Demelza. Mm -hmm. And Demelza is brilliant. Uh, she phoned me every day, you know, always constantly checking up on me, always reassuring me, which um, when you're in the position that I was at the time and how, how when you're down, as you know as badly down as I was at the time that that's that's something that's really 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 good and it really yeah. helps it really helps totally, you with your motivation yeah. uh just to have someone there telling you that you know you're, you're doing all the right things you, you're putting yourself in the right places you're doing yeah. the best thing for you yeah. at the time and letting you know that you're doing a really good job at it I mean that is everything that you need to hear when you're at that point in your life and yeah it means everything yeah, definitely. And then cool. about a week later, after speaking to Demelza, she enrolled me on a CSES card course because with the um, construction company I was working with before, Andrew Borlays, I wasn't required to have a CSES card because it was a private company. Uh, um, yeah. But um, yeah, um, she put me on this CSES course and I passed the... I passed the course within a, within a couple of days and then I had the exam on the Friday. Yeah, two o'clock on the Friday and then the following Monday I started work. So it yeah. was, you know, it, it was really, really, really quick. It was, it was, yeah. it, you know, it just filled me with, um, filled me with such joy, you know, to know that I'd finally put myself oh, on the right path. Yeah, again. no, I can it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm finally, yeah. Totally, and I, yeah, no, I completely get that. And like I said, it was a really quick turnaround. But from, you know, from everything you went through, it must have been such a relief and such oh, a, you know, a bright light moment for you. Oh yeah, it it really was, and um, it's yeah. it's exactly what I needed, you know, to start getting myself back into better spirits than I was in before, which it certainly has done for me. Yeah, I mean that. I mean that leads amazingly on to what I was going to ask you next. With you know, now that you're in work what kind of difference has that made to you and your life now oh it's everything it, it really has it's made such a positive impact on my life now because now mm -hmm. i'm back working again i know exactly how much money i'm going to be getting each month so therefore i can start budgeting for my arrears on my rent on my all of my bills and now i'm looking at being debt free in about half a year just under and that's that's exactly what i needed yeah. you know and it's, it's just it it brings a certain type of weight off your shoulders, you know. Um, when you've when you've got that, when you've got when you've got that sort of plan in place, and you've got the support that I've had from you guys, it's um yeah, it's it, it's a, it's a really good feeling to know that I'm going to be doing, you know, going to be doing well in the future because yeah. of you. Yeah. Oh, amazing! We're really really happy for you and. You know, going forward, you know, what what are your big, you know, your dreams, your plans for the future? Well, um, I plan to stay in labouring for a couple of years. And yeah. then... what, do you, what do you enjoy most about it? Just just to interrupt you there. What do you enjoy most about your job? Oh, uh, helping people. <laughs> that, that's got to be the main yeah. thing. And also <laughs> being able to look at something that I've done. For example, a finished project, like a finished house. And look at certain parts of the house and think, you know what, that's there because I did it. Well, I did that part. That yeah. that brings joy to me as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Completing the task and seeing it done. That's yeah. That's that's, that's a big thing for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you know, your plans to to stay in construction for a while. What are the plans to go forward? So um, yeah, I'm going to stay in lo uh, labouring for a couple of years, and yeah. then I'm going to. I'm going to trade into something and originally I was thinking about becoming a bricklayer 
that uh, recently mm-hmm. I thought to myself I might become a carpenter and see where that takes me. So um, okay. yeah, I'll I'll, I'll trade yeah. carpenter, and then after cool, seven or, seven or eight years doing that, when I when I know quite a bit about it, then I'm going to start my own company. And after a few years after that, this is where it gets a bit ambitious. Um, <laughs> after a few years after that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy an old Subaru, a Subaru Impreza, 2004 to be um, specific, and I'm gonna turn it into a rally car, and then I'm gonna get my rally driver's license, <laughs> enter a few competitions, and then I'm gonna win the WRC. So it's all good. Well, I mean, don't forget us when you're famous. <laughs> oh, of course, not, of course not. You guys will be the first people. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and just to finish up, Matt, I mean, what advice would you give to other people in your situation who may be, you know, struggling and, you know, finding it hard to find work at the moment after your inspirational story? What would be your advice to them? My advice to them would be, you know, no matter how hard it gets in life, no matter how deep of a pit that you're in, then you've just got to keep moving forward. You've got to keep looking for opportunities. You've got to do your best to keep your head afloat. And when opportunities arise, for example, if you get yeah. referred to CTEC, do it in a heartbeat because they will turn your life around. Oh, Matt, thank you so much. You've been an absolute inspiration. Um, yeah. And yeah, we're just so grateful for you taking the time to talk to us today. Of course. Um, and we really do wish you all the best. We really do wish you all the best. And I you know, wish you all the luck as well for your job. Thank you. It means a lot. Thanks thank you. very much, Matt. No worries. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Bye bye.